YouTube. Neil with No Plot Blog here bringing you episode 12 of Regrowth. And in today's episode, we're going to start getting some of the machines going to get our factory up and running. So in between episodes here, I've gotten together some osmium and some um, rutilite. And I also got this thing started over here. Oh, yeah, and we I did a little bit of work on the factory there to kind of make it look more factory-ish. Um, I went to get put together this vat so that I can pump, I can put limestone in the crucible, have it melted down, pumped into the water vat here to make magnesium. Reason being, we put magnesium in with um, rutilite. We melt down rutilite, we get the impure molten titanium. To purify that, we add magnesium to the mix. And it's about a two to one ratio. So <clears throat> for every block of rutilite you put in there, you need to put two pieces of magnesium dust. And we're going to need titanium, osmium, handful of other things to get the factory going and just make everything that we need to make. Um, I do need to grab a couple of blocks of iron while I'm out here. Because what we're going to focus on today, <clears throat> I want to get a better power source going. So I'm going to build a heat generator since we pretty much have an endless supply of coal over here with our um, with our farm. Um, it is a temporary storage. Eventually, I like to make everything go biofuel. Biofuel is how I like to power my base. But at the very least, we actually might even end up having to go like gas power because we're going to have a lot more machines hooked up than I usually do. But let's come out here and oh, I've got some copper. I do need some wood. Let's see if we got any wood in the chests here. Make absolutely certain I don't have any in my inventory. Uh, no wood in there. Not there. Nor there. Not a Not a problem. Let's just bring you down. And actually bring you down. There we go. And just cut this birch down here. And that should give us plenty of wood for the machines we're going to be building here. Let's take a quick nap here and wake up feeling refreshed and ready to go. And... We're going to start with the heat generator. Oh, I didn't realize I had done that. Huh. So let's break you down into ingots. I'll just break both of you down into ingots. And, oh, that's metallurgic infuser. We're not going to be building that just yet. Probably not in this episode. But the heat generator, we should actually have... Oh, no, I need to turn these into... Planks. There we go. And I'm missing a furnace. Oh, yeah, furnace. Uh, and me without any cobblestone. Really? I should have some over here. Yeah. There we go. Forgot about the furnace. And just circle that in. And now we can make our heat generator. We're also going to need uh, wiring. We want to use the mechanism wiring, which is um, basic universal cable. That's the one. And that's simply steel and redstone. And we should actually have... Should actually have some steel out here. Wrought iron. Well, we don't have any steel out here. We do have some redstone, so we'll grab that. <clears throat> and let's just run back over here to the factory. And grab some steel. And I should have a crafting table out there. And we'll go ahead and lay out the um, heat generator so that I can start wiring everything in and getting machines ready to go. 
And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure in the long run, I actually want to have my power units underneath the factory. But for the time being and for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to pop them down right there. And I should have some steel in this chest over here. I'd be surprised if I don't. Well, color me surprised. No, uh, blast furnace. There we go. It's just two, but two will make us enough wire to get going. And we just put that there and there, put a redstone in between them. And there we've got our basic universal cable. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll just pop it down. There we go. Just didn't want to make it so visible there. And just break out these walls here. And run it like that. And then we're ready for some machines. So, actually, you know what? Uh, maybe run it along the wall like that. I don't need that one there. I could actually probably turn that thing. Oh, well, I, th this will work for now. Let's actually break out a couple more bricks there and lay down a couple more wires, because I know we're going to need to hook up our carpenter, our rolling machine. Uh, I want to get the uh, thematic fabricator over here. And we're probably going to need a handful of other machines as well. Um, at some point sooner than later, I'm going to have to make lasers. But I think that's actually going to be on our next episode. And a lot of running back and forth in this one. <laughs> but all of our machines are back over this way. And again, once I... I think it's in Thumacraft... I get access to blocks that make you run faster. So once I get into that, we'll be able to lay those down, and that'll make the trip back and forth to the factory go much, much quicker. And honestly, most of this stuff should be over in the factory to begin with. But let's, um, we're going to want him. Let's get a couple of these guys out of my inventory here. We're going to want him, we're going to want him. We're going to want this guy that I made over here. Oops. I don't need that another brick. Let's put that sand away and those tin ingots. And there we go. So let's get these machines hooked up. And, of course, the goal here is I want my auto farm. Because once the auto farm is up and running, it'll continuously gather resources for us. And we'll be able to worry a lot less about having to pop those crops every few minutes and keep all that going. <laughs> but to do that, we have to be able to make a lot of different things. We've got to be able to make uh, microchips vacuum tubes, all sorts of different stuff. Let's just lay against this wall here. So we put down the carpenter, put down the rolling machine, and put down the thermonic, in, the thermionic fabricator. And I believe for our short-term goals, um, integrated. No, not integrated. Which circuit board is it then? Intricate circuit board. Okay, so that we can make in the carpenter. And I think the only other thing we need for the farm blocks are those tubes. And then for all this stuff, it's stuff we have access to. So really, it's just the thermionic fabricator we got to get up and running there. So let me go... Um, eh, you guys can come with me. 
I do a lot of the a lot of cutaways in these videos, and I want to try and do one that's mostly just beginning to end the process I'm going through. Um, my voice is a little raspy today. Um, I'm actually recording a few videos today because I've got a really it's it's Friday. This video will be going up Monday. Um, and last night I was at a concert, so <laughs> lot lot of screaming and yelling and hooting and hollering, and my voice has definitely paid the price on that. I don't need these in here right now. And that sand I dumped, I'm going to need, and that tin I dumped, I'm going to need. That should do it. So yeah, voice voice is a little bit raspy, but I want to get these videos recorded because I'm I'm kind of excited. Um, as of the point that I'm recording this one, I've got two other series that I'm getting going. Um, one of them is going to be on the mod pack Nether Deep, which is a fairly new. It's about a month old mod pack. Um, the other one is also about a month old mod, mod pack that we're going to be doing a series on, and that one is uh, Skycore. So I'm kind of excited, kind of ready to get those going. As a matter of fact, at the time that I've recorded this, um, I have actually already published... Have I? You know what? It's Friday. And I did publish it. And I think I shouldn't have until tomorrow. No, because I'm actually going to be pushing back this series to um, Wednesdays instead of Thursdays. And then Nether Deep is going to be on Fridays. That is... What are you left? No oh, 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 oh. Give cold to the generator. Nether Deep is going to be on Fridays, and then on Sundays we're going to be doing um, Skycore. So really excited about the new series that we're going to have going, and just kind of getting people's reactions on these mods and to do... You have power now. You have ingredients. Ah, there we go. Okay, starting to come up to heat, so that'll take a minute there. Um, while we're at it, do I have any tin in here? Copper, osmium... Aluminum, aluminum. But we do have our molten titanium has melted down. So let's go ahead and get that draining. And I think I actually need to smelt up some tin. Um, because I think we're going to need tin gears for some of the stuff we're going to have going there. We're going to need it for, um, for the hatch. And do we need one for the valve? Not sure, but um, a lot of the stuff we're going to throw on to get the auto farm up and running. We're going to need some tin for some of that stuff. And we're also going to need some gold, but yeah, we've well, got plenty of gold. Um, tin, we're low on. So let's grab some essence of tin. Craft it into ore. And take a nap on our way back to our smell tree. Good sleep, happy sleep. And we'll get this going, and then... I think, really, I should make our first farm block. We're going to have to make a lot of them. So I'm going to do most of it off-camera. Because I'm building the biggest auto farm that I can make. So <laughs> it's a 5 by 5 by 4 solid structure so it's going to take a lot of um the rest of it in there it's going to take a lot of farm blocks to get going but while that's doing its thing over there let's see if this has come up to heat yet and oh it has so we just pop these electric tubes and it'll just keep popping them out so long as we've got 
the materials in there for it, and the heat to keep the machine running. And ran out of tin. Okay. But that's enough to get going on it. And then do I have any smooth stone on me? I don't. Let's drop those guys in there. And you're molten, so we'll get you draining. That I may be able to make more of these tubes. Because we're going to need a lot more of these tubes. I'm not really sure. Five by five by four. Uh, someone is at the door. Give me just a moment here. I'll be right back with you. Oh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, my um, girlfriend's sister's boyfriend <laughs> was here to drop some stuff off, and I'm the only one home. So <laughs> I kind of had to get that there. But um, we're back here, and what was, oh, 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 wanted to make um, farm blocks before we ended this episode. So actually not a whole lot left here after that pause, but... Um, so to make farm blocks, we're going to need stone bricks. We can actually use a bunch of different materials. Um, I could make them out of mossy stone bricks. I could use cracked stone bricks. Could use like the clay bricks. Could even make them out of sandstone or nether bricks. So, you know, if, um, quartz. Wow. So you know, you ha you have some options of what you can actually make them out of. I use stone bricks because it's readily available, and I actually kind of like the look of how it turns out. I'm also going to need a ton of copper, but we're just going to make, you know, the first few bricks here. So I'll just grab that. And we're going to need some planks as well. So let's go ahead and... Slabs, not planks, I'm sorry. Slab those out, and that'll give us a few. And then there we go, our first 21 auto farm blocks. And that's not even going to cover the base of our auto farm. <laughs> I think 25... That's yeah, 5 by 5 by 4. Or is it 5 by 5 by 5? It might be 5 by 5 by 5, actually. I should probably check that, actually. Is that where these go down? Yes, that's where these go down. But I think it's 5 by 5 by 4 sounds right to me. But that's a 100 of these farm blocks that we're going to have to make in between episodes here. But once we do, and once I get this thing powered up and have fertilizer and water going into it, you're going to be amazed how quickly we collect all of this stuff here. And the sun's going down, and I think that actually just about does it for us for this episode. So um, I'm going to come over here, take a nap. But if you like this episode, I mean, be sure to hit the um, like and the subscribe there. Leave me a comment. You know, let me know what you've enjoyed about this video, anything you think we could do differently. Um, it just kind of helps me make sure that, you know, you are enjoying the videos. You are enjoying watching the videos as much as I'm enjoying making them. And... Um, we do have a link below to the Feed the Beast website where um, you can find the launcher where this mod pack is located. Um, it is on the um, pre-approved third-party mod pack, so you don't even need a pack code for it. Just look for regrowth in the list. And yeah, I mean, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, keep gaming.